Hello class, welcome again to our online discussion in this subject, Rhythmic Activities or PE2. So again, we will discuss for this subject of the folk dances, specifically on Philippine folk dances, and we will also discuss about the modern dances. So we are now in module 5, classification of folk dance according to nature. So once again, this is your instructor, Jason Kano. So let's proceed. In uh, classification of folk dances according to nature, we have different kinds of dances. One of that is, we call it occupational dances. These are those that depicts the actions of a particular occupations. Number two is religious or ceremonial uh, dances. These are associated with religion, vows, and ceremonies. We also have a comic dances. These are the depict funny movements for entertainment. And we also have game dances. These are the, uh, it will be done with play elements. And we also have wedding dances. These dances are performed during wedding feast. And we also have courtship dances. It's an art of a courtship. And lastly, festival dances. This is uh, suitable for special occasions. So those are the examples of different uh, dances according to nature. So I will give the sample uh, folk dances according to nature. Number one, we will discuss about the Binatbatan dance. So the Binatbatan dance is an occupational dance okay, from Pauai, Ilocos Norte, sa Norte. It depicts the beating of cotton pads to separate the seeds from the fibers and weavers these dancers in Pauai often engage themselves in able making contests so the dancers maneuvers in and out of the parallel bat bat sticks okay so these are the bat bat sticks each about 18 inches long so the rhythm and speed of the beating of the sticks make for a lively and colorful display. Next is Mag Asik dance. This is a Terurai dance for girls, uh, which perform in Nuru Kutabato. According to the natives, the word Mag Asik means to sow seeds. So the dancers go around the cloth with a small heavy steps but with graceful hand and arm movements. So the dance consists of two parts, which the natives call kumaligi, that's number one, and magasik. Number three, dugso. It is a dance that originated from Bukidnon in Northeast Mindanao. So the dancers perform this as an entertainment for the deities. So there are gods and goddesses to make them feel more comfortable during the fiesta that was organized for them. It was originally thought that this dance was performed only during harvest time or upon the birth of male ear. Tagapagmana. Women would wear colorful feeders, headdresses, like this, just like this one, and played costumes and anklets. Number four, Kinoton. It is a comic dance from Ilokusur. It depicts the movement of a person beaten by ants. Okay, their movements, it's just like a person beaten by an ants. Just like this one. And we also have Lubi Lubi. It is a Bicolano dance, which is a combination of a simple folk and social steps. Literally, Lubi means coconut. According to the Bicolanos, this dance originated in Leyte and Samar 
where it is still danced like the Balitao. It is also popular in Albay and Sursugon. 6. Pagkawin So the wedding ceremony is called Pagkawin. The festivity opens with the Pahanda, Pahanda or Handa, Maghanda, or presentation of Donri. Relatives of the groom present the relatives of the bride traditional Doris that usually include that they called it salappa, a brass box containing money, this one, jewelry, other valuables, and all important little nut. That's so expensive when you get married. Number seven, suwa suwa or suwa suwa. This is a dance from hulo, sulo. Literally, suwa suwa means small orange plant. So they have a small orange plant in Hulu Sulu. According to the Moros of the older generation, the movements in this dance have been modified and modernized. So the dancers sing as they perform the dance. So they have they perform the dancing, at the same time they sing a song. The natives often repeat the dance as many times as they like or until they are made to stop number eight pandango it is ilaw or fandango ilaw light soga is a very popular folk dance in the philippines it is said that they originated from mindoro this dance of lights simulates fireflies at dusk and at night the phrase sa ilaw is Tagalog for light, ilaw, light, suga in Bisaya. And it refers to the three oil lamps that our dance has to balance. One in the head and two in the left and the right hand. So the oil lamp is called tinghoy. And last, number nine, Sagaya. A Philippine war dance performed by both the Maguindanao and Maranao. Depicting in dramatic fashion the steps their hero, Prince Bantugan, took upon wearing his armaments, the war he fought in, and his subsequent victory after wars. So these are the following examples of the folk dances according to nature. So up next, we will discuss about the Module 6, the overview of modern dances. Thank you for listening and don't forget to answer the evaluation quiz and see you in the next video. Thank you.